Amanda Wayanga Pindu was born in 1956 and died in 2013. He was a singer and human rights activist and grew up throughout a period of time in Australia that experienced a lot of changes, especially in the education system, to do with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in Australia. He became principal in about 19, or the mid-1980s, in which a lot of changes happened up and coming to then and afterwards. He had this belief that his people or the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people relied a lot more on traditions passed down through generations and developed knowledge through the generations previous to them and they relied a lot more on nature to speak to them as such about what to do and in the development of things. Whereas Western people rely a lot more on science and proof that things happened and things are happening and what's the best way to do things. So nature doesn't really speak in Western cultures. It's more proven through society and through science. His contribution was significant because he created this to the both ways learning style which incorporated both Aboriginal traditions and the Western culture in order to get the best out of Aboriginal people, um, students as well as Western students in order to create this society that used both and used the best aspects of both. He did this so that they could work best in a contemporary Australia, whereas the Aboriginals have a lot of traditions the Western people are very modern in the way that they think about things. In order to bring them together, that worked the best. That's what he believed. Um, as you can see on the Australian curriculum, the under gen general capabilities, there's a whole section on that you can see his influence. You can see the way that Akara wants to bring the Aboriginal and Western people together as one and work as a cohesive team. Um, this is significant to me because as a future teacher, I'm going to have to teach Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islander people and I'm going to have to know their knowledge bases and their cultural bases in order to get the best participation out of them and in order to, for them to get the most out of what I'm teaching them. So overall, he was given 1992's Australian of the Year and he deserved it for the way that he built bridges of understanding between Western and Aboriginal people and brought them together. Thank you.